Hey folks, welcome back to Adventure Gear TV. Today we're diving deep into the world of solar power with a comprehensive review of these 125 watt bifacial modular solar panels from EcoFlow. These panels come in three configurations, 125 watts, 250 watts, and a 500 watt package, so you can choose the setup that best suits your needs. Now, whether you're a seasoned off-gridder or just starting your adventure into sustainable living, these panels have something to offer. They're lightweight, portable, and boast some impressive features features that set them apart from the competition. Now let's break down the key features to see what makes these panels so special. First off, these panels are bifacial, meaning they can capture sunlight from both sides. That's right, not just the front, but the back too. This innovative design can increase energy absorption by up to 25% when conditions allow for optimal light reflection from the back. And with this N-type Topcon technology, these panels achieve a high conversion efficiency of up to 25%, making them a top performer in their class. Plus, they're built to last with a durable, weather-resistant design that can withstand the elements. We're talking IP68 rated, water and dust resistance. So you can take these panels on any adventure, rain or shine. The EcoFlow 125 watt bifacial modular solar panel is constructed with a 1.1 millimeter thick tempered glass and features corner protectors and a black aluminum alloy frame, ensuring its durability and longevity. It also includes a built-in angle indicator to help you find the optimal angle for capturing sunlight, maximizing your energy generation. And these panels are built to last with a 30 year lifespan until they reach 90% output, so you can enjoy reliable solar power for years to come. But what truly sets these panels apart is their modularity. Each panel provides up to 125 watts of power, and you can combine up to eight of them to get a whopping 1,000 watts of energy. This means you can customize your solar setup to perfectly match your power needs, whether you're charging a small portable power station or running an entire off-grid cabin. Another unique feature is these XT60 connections. Unlike traditional MC4 connections, the XT60 connectors on these panels have both pins on one side. This allows for a parallel setup, simplifying the connection process and making it easy to expand your solar array. With its low amperage, this panel is perfect for charging smaller power stations, giving you a lightweight and efficient solution for your portable power needs. Before we get into testing, I want to let you know that EcoFlow sent me these panels for this review. However, they have no control over the content in this video. For today's testing, I have some of EcoFlow's more popular power stations, the River 3, the River 3 Max Plus, the Delta 3 Plus, and the Delta 2 Max. Something very important to note is that this River 3 cannot accept any of those solar panels for this test. So I'm gonna take it off the table because it has a maximum rating of 30 volts of input where those solar panels are putting out very close to 50 volts. So my top recommendation when charging the River 3 is make sure you do not not exceed that 30 volt maximum input or you might see the magic smoke coming out of it. The River 3 Max Plus has a maximum input of 11 to 55 volts, 13 amps max, and 220 watts. That makes the River 3 Max Plus ideal for a maximum of two of these solar panels, which is rated for 250 watts max, but combined they're about 50 volts and about 6 to 7 amps. The Delta 3 Plus is rated to accept 11 to 60 volts, 15 amps max and 1000 watts. However, it has two ports on the back and each of those ports will accept up to 500 watts. Now the Delta 2 Max has the exact same inputs as this Delta 3 Plus, which is 11 to 60 volts, 15 amps max and 1000 watts. And just like the Delta 3 Plus, it also has two ports that are rated at 500 watts max each. So the massive input capabilities of these two power stations means that you can use two of these four panel configurations giving you eight panels and 1,000 watts into these portable power stations. Another thing I want to note is I got the 500 watt kit, but this extension cable is my own extension cable. I did expect this 500 watt kit to come with an XT60 extension to plug into these power stations. However, I was unable to find one of those in my kit. It doesn't necessarily matter which of these two inputs you use for charging with solar power, but another benefit of this is if you are using one of those alternator chargers, you can use a, the XT60 input to both charge with your alternator and then have a solar panel array separately. I love this Midwest weather. However, I started this video on a bright 70 degree sunny day and now I'm having trouble getting overcast skies. However, with this four panel configuration and these overcast skies, this is what I'm getting as my input. It's been fluctuating between 140 and 170 watts. And right now with these overcast conditions, I'm not able to use the shadow to perfectly align these solar panels. 
channels. So we're still about halfway overcast and I haven't gotten any good angles without the clouds in the shot, but I'm waiting patiently to see when those clouds go away, how much maximum input I can get from this power station. Now with this River 3 Max Plus, I can more than max out the solar input right now. So let's see what happens when I plug in this 50 volt configuration into the River 3 Max Plus. And with these two solar panels putting out their maximum input, we're able to bang up to that 220 watts without over volting and without over amping the system. So the 250 watt configuration is the perfect setup for the River 3 Max Plus. And with today's slightly overcast conditions, the best I'm able to get into the Delta 2 Max is about 290 watts. Each of these panels is rated at 50 volts open circuit and operate at around 43 volts. With just the one-sided power input, they can put out 3.2 amps, but with the maximum capability achieved, we can get up to 3.4 amps. Now remember, these panels do connect in parallel and they connect directly with that XT60 input, meaning that the voltage will stay the same no matter how many of the panels you have connected. However, one thing to keep in mind is you go from 3.2, combining the second panel, you get 6.4, 9.6, and together with all four panels, you get 12.8 amps. And 12.8 amps does not exceed the maximum amperage input or voltage input of any of these three power stations. Each of the panels weighs 9.26 pounds alone, so they're not very heavy. They're about 24.1 inches wide, 45.4 inches tall, and just about 0.87 inches thick. That makes these panels perfect for stowing and going in your small vehicle camper or your campsite off-grid setup. Now, as I said before, this is 1.1 millimeter thick tempered glass. So one concern I do have for these panels is that if you try to mount these on top of a vehicle or something where you have exposure to potentially rocks or other things hitting it, then you might actually break that glass. Another concern I have, and I should have saved the foam that came with the packaging, is when you pack these up, you could perhaps kneel on them or bang them with something and maybe break one or two of the panels inside of the bags. So this is something I'd like to see on any power stations that come out in 2025 or later. Right now, the Delta 3 Plus is not accepting any solar power input because its internal temperature is below its low temperature cutoff protection. Now, I know I'm getting at least 200, if not 300 watts from those solar panels. And what I would like to see is some kind of heating element installed inside of these panels so that the solar power coming in right now could be used to heat those batteries, allow me to get solar power into the device. This feature would be very cheap and easy to include in power stations like this and allow you to maximize your solar power input in those cold weather off-grid setups. Now, if you're considering buying these solar panels, what you will love most about them is that they're portable, compact, and lightweight in transportation. Because of their extreme lightweight design, I do recommend that you get a couple of tent stakes. That way, when you put these up and leave them up for extended periods, any strong gusts of wind won't blow them over. If you enjoyed my review of the EcoFlow bifacial modular 125 watt solar panel system, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you'd like to find out more about these solar panels or any of the power stations mentioned in the video, be sure to check out my affiliate link in the video description down below.